Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to move something out of the way, so sorry about that last minute decision. <laughs> um, so, yeah, today I just wanted to go live. I'm just here hanging out, um, cutting out some botanical images from these wonderful books that I got from the library, from vintage shops. Um, as well as the thrift shops. Um, the books that I'm cutting out uh, are called The Time Life Encyclopedia of Gardening. And they have various different kinds and subjects. So there's, I don't know how many books are in the set, but I have, I don't know, maybe about 15 of these books. And they have awesome images in here. Um, and on the very, very back pages, I've already ripped them out. Of course, there's still this big one remaining. Um, in this book in the very back, they have all these pretty images. Um, and I have so many of these books that I figured I would just cut them out. And maybe I could sell them in sets. Um, but first, I have to cut them out. And like I said, I literally have about 15 of these books that I'm doing. So, or maybe even more. No, I think I have, oh my god, I don't know, maybe like 30 of these books now. Oh my god. I can't believe it's like 30 books, but yeah, I have like 30 books, so I'm just going to be cutting up the images and chit-chatting with you guys if there's anybody here that wants to say anything, Um, but mostly that's all I'm going to be doing. I was really obsessed with paper ruffles. I started making paper ruffles, um, but then as soon as I started doing this with the images, I'm like, you know what, let me get to work on these, so... I'm just going to be going live here, just cutting these images out. And I'm saving all this wonderful text um, here um, off to the side. I have a little box that it's going in. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, and there's also some pieces I want to save. Some pieces actually have um, different images on the back of them. So I want to keep those too. But mostly I'm just going to be cutting these out. Um, I like to put a color border around these so that they get a nice um, pop of color, makes them stand out just a little bit. And I think it looks nice. Darla W just bought the bulb book from Katie's last night. Nice. It's a really good um, set for images. I'm so happy that I found um, this whole set um, at, like I said, at thrift shops and uh, I found some at the library too. But nice to see you, Aaron, and hi, Rhonda. Welcome, you guys. Just here hanging out, just getting some craft done. And also, I did cut up some of those um, pages in one-inch strips, and I'm going to use these to make paper ruffles as well. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. I'll probably go live tomorrow, too. I've just I've missed going live, so I'm just going to do it. <laughs> like I said, I wanted to do this, and then I wanted to do some paper uh, ruffles, which I started putting on the edge of these journal pages. These awesome paper ruffles that I did in the same um, same style as the last one. So I'm going to do these tomorrow. You can come hang out with me tomorrow to do that at 1 p.m. Um, I did do a couple of them, but I kind of want to take a break from that. So we'll see. <laughs> I'll get back to it. So here, some of the pictures are really big, and some of them are not so big. I'm trying to pick out uh, the page that has the the side of the page that has the most uh, floral images. So that's how I'm just figuring that out. I want to make sure I get all the flowers I can because I will be selling these in sets. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Oops, I did that one too close. I don't like that, but maybe I'll keep those for myself. Um, I did remove the mystery boxes from my shop, the floral die cuts. They just, they weren't fun anymore to make and they were stressing me out. So <laughs> I'm taking a break from those. So I unlisted them from my shop. Uh, <laughs> hola, el chiste. Además estoy cortando papel. Cortando estas uh, flores del papel y hablando con la gente. <laughs> Let me see. Ah, uh, Shari, I've been missing going live. I'm telling you, I have been missing it. Um, but I'm back, and now I don't want to stop going live. Now I want to live 24 hours live. <laughs> but it is nice to see everybody. I hope everybody's having a nice Saturday. 
the weather's kind of nice today. I think it's supposed to get up to 90 degrees, though. So I have my AC on, but I might have to turn on. I have the door open. I'm going to have to close the door soon. It's, it's getting warm in here, even with the AC on. <laughs> so welcome, everybody. Let me see what's on this page. Ooh, this page has more pictures. So let me pick that page. And I have so many of these pages to go through. So many books. I'm telling you, I literally have like 30 of these books. So it's going to take me a while to get these into sets. But I think these are just such pretty images. I got to have them. And if you guys like them, I want to have them for you. As many as I can because, I mean, as, as I ran out of these, that's all I have. I don't have any more. <laughs> I know I'm going to save myself a nice big amount of them. And then I will put the rest up in, uh, in my shop. But these are such good books. And I'm so glad I found the series that I was able to find them. Oh, my God. A couple of times, too. I found it for the first time a long time ago. And um, I found a, a nice amount of the books. And I used the images for a number of years before I ran out. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the Chit Chat channel. <laughs> right? These images are so much fun. I love adding them to my books. I especially like the really big images because they are great for, like, really big empty spaces on your journal. And I'm going to use this. I know I'm going to use the pages. I've thrown a lot of them away. But I think I'm going to use these. I have them all set off to the side in a box. So I'm going to have a lot of scraps of these. I'm going to have to find some other stuff to do with scraps. You guys know I love working with my scraps. Got to do something. Um, but yeah, I actually... I had these scraps of, of paper and I cut them into one inch, uh, one inch strips. So I need to find more projects to use with strips or with some more. I don't know what I'm going to do, but we're going to figure it out together. So I'm sure I'll be working on it live. Hi, Shari. Okay. Okay. I already said hi to Shari. <laughs> okay. Let's get this page just cut up. And... I like to leave a little bit of a board around. And then down here, it kind of tells you what the plant is. So that's really nice. I think I'm going to turn on my AC instead of just having it on the fan. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Rhonda, I don't know if you've ever had this problem. Uh, something is eating one of my succulents, Rhonda. I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, I've never had this happen to any of my other plants, so there's something eating, taking big old chunks of my succulents. You got the most amazing vintage sheet today, 1970s pink and green daisies, gonna tear it up. <gasps> that sounds pretty. That sounds nice, Erin. I know, I am so scared, Rhonda. It's my favorite succulent, too. It's the one that hangs down. It's called, uh, Ruby Necklace. So I don't know if it's a bird. I don't know if it's a bird. I do have a lot of birds around. You always hear the bird sounds around here. And it's just biting in big, big chunks of my plants. And it's really freaking bumming me out, you guys. <laughs> it's really bumming me out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to douse it in alcohol. i got to put cinnamon in the pot again. And then I got to douse it in alcohol. Um, if it's a bug or something, we don't really get a lot of slugs in Las Vegas, which is why I don't think it's a slug. Um, but I'm just so, like, freaked out. <laughs> I am going to record a video about it. I already filmed me, like, freaking out about the leaves. And then my next uh, step to fixing it is going to be... Um, dumping alcohol in there and then filtering it out with more water. I don't know if it's a bug. A worm? Oh, not a worm. Yeah, it's taking big old chunks of the leaves. Like, but it looks like bites, like big old bites. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe it's a bird. Maybe. 
ants. Ants. I don't think it's ants. I don't have an ant problem. Because I put cinnamon in my in my pots. And that keeps ants away. So I have not had any problem with ants in my pots. Because ants bring these little white bugs onto succulents. And I don't have that problem because I put cinnamon in my plants. But can't fight against a bird. I have not had mealy bugs. Put cinnamon on your in your pots, Rhonda. And you won't have mealy bug problems either. But like literally chunks. So I'm like shocked. Like half the leaf or the whole leaf. It's just like, I don't even know. It might be a bird. I told my husband, I said, let's go get like, you know, one of those like plastic owls or something. Like maybe with the plastic owl, if it's a bird, that might fix the problem. <sighs> so stressful. We use seven dust at zoo. Not harmful to the animals, but kills everything else. Well, I don't want to kill my plant. <laughs> Does it kill plants? I don't want to kill my plant, though. Uh, that one or this one? I guess this one. This one is a little bit better. I was going to give you a part of this plant, too, Rhonda, but... I need to figure out what's wrong with it first. Because it grows up really big and really, like, it just hangs. And it's so beautiful. That's why I'm so mad something's eating it. Like, why? Like, why? I'll look it up. Seven dust. I, I can look that up, definitely. Um, I have to do this one because it seems the prettiest. Saving all my scraps. Gotta save those scraps. Let me see. Okay. Other than that, other than that, and me being afraid of burning my plants with the sun. I've been having to like move my plants around, find the perfect place where they get some sun, but not too much sun. <laughs> where I had them for winter, I guess the sun shifted. I don't know. It doesn't get sun there anymore. <laughs> where do you get your book with flowers from? This book set is called um, the, in the Time Life Encyclopedia of Gardening. And there are these books from like the 70s, and you'll notice they have this brown cover, and then it'll it has different topics. So this is the book that it's like a, a whole set of books. I don't know how many books there are, but it's a whole set. The Time Life Encyclopedia of Gardening. I have all sorts of topics, and I have <laughs> I have found myself with about 30 of them. So lucky me. I've seen them online. They want like $65 for like a set or like $100 for a set. I found them at thrift shops and at the library. That's where I have found them. Thrift shops and at the library one time. So I was not expecting them to find them at the library. And when I did, I literally bought 13 books. And then this time I bought 15 books. So yeah, I have about 30 of these books right here. So I need to get to work. I need to cut these out. And um, get them in sets. Maybe. I don't know if I'll sell. I might sell. I'm thinking about selling them, but if I keep them for myself, I'll be fine with that too. <laughs> you can find them on live sale sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes people have them. Erin uh, was just talking about somebody who she saw was selling them online. Like at a live auction. Who did you say was that? Erin, you said it was Darla W from Katie's Tribe of Five. That's what it is, Katie's Tribe of Five. I don't, I've never seen that channel. Okay, well, we'll have to get these. I do want to put these up for sale because it's going to be too many of them. 
too many of them. And even the even the pages on them are actually really interesting. Like here, it, it talks about flowers, and it tells you about all these different flowers. I love them. So I'm setting them aside to use for something. I already made a bunch of strips that I can make into paper ruffles. And it's this nice, shiny paper. So the, paper, the ruffles are going to be really cute, I think. I suspect. I don't know, but I suspect so. See these really large ones? I love the really large ones. They're so pretty. And I'm pick this one. I know I gotta pick the side with the most picture with the most pictures, but those are not that pretty. <laughs> Those are not the prettiest ones. So this is a great book. If you see them at the thrift store, grab them. Grab them and use them up. I love them. Like I said, it took me, after I found, I found, I remember I had like five of them, I think. And I remember cutting them all up and I used them and I used them and then I finally had no more <laughs> and I was freaking out that I had no more but luckily right as I ran out of them I found them at the library found them at the library and I was like yes <laughs> they wanted a dollar a book I think yeah I ended up paying like a dollar a book And then these ones I just found at the at the thrift shop um, uh, on Thursday, I think. No, 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 no. Like on Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. That's when it was Tuesday. And I found fifteen books, and I was like, yes, <laughs> like score, major score. So I have doubles and triples of some of them. So I love it. Can't get any better than that. Yeah, these ones are prettier. So let's get these. So once I get these processed and cut up and put into sets, I'll put them up in my store. Let's so figure out which ones I want to keep for myself. Because <laughs> I keep thinking I'm not going to get this lucky ever again. And I keep, I don't know, I keep finding them. I keep finding them, so I'm sure you could too. But I'd rather not ship out a whole page when all you really want is the flowers. <laughs> so let's cut this out here. Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to go back to being obsessed with ruffles. <laughs> I'll make more ruffles tomorrow. I'm going to work on paper ruffles tomorrow. And then um, on Monday I'll go back to decorating those journals I need to finish. <laughs> I need to finish those journals. The book I see. Oh, I'm going to keep pulling it out. It is called The Time Life Encyclopedia of Gardening. And it's a bunch of books. It's a whole set. Various different topics. And there's some that are like cactuses too. So you know those. I'm keeping those. <laughs> you know those are for me. Those cactuses. And they have some succulent pictures too. This is a great book set. Very old, and I don't think anybody really wants them. <laughs> they're all over the place. So I'm so glad I went to the thrift shop that day. Even though I ended up with a, a flat tire somehow. This one's the prettiest, though. And again, I am going to save these pages because I think I can use them for something, I'm sure. You should look for the Book of Flowers of the World. Ooh, that sounds pretty. Trust me, I looked through all the books at the, at the shops, but I have not heard of that one. Oh, I didn't see you. Hi, Jay Nails for you. I didn't see you. Which one's prettier? This pink. What do you guys think? Orange or should I cut out the pink flower? 
What do you guys think? Orange or pink? I could go either way. I don't know. Aaron says orange. Arisi says pink. I need one more tie-breaking vote. Orange or pink? <laughs> Jails. J Nail Street says pink. All right, pink it is. Pink wins. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for helping me. <laughs> Sometimes the decisions are really tough, really tough choices. <laughs> Simple. Oh, bookmarks are cute. Bookmarks are really cute. Okay, so here's this one. I'm going to use the purple one. I think on the other one, I think I've already seen this picture too. I'm pick the other one. So let's pick this one. Okay. Okay. So I'm excited to try using the actual scraps of paper. From the books, because before I used to just throw them away, but I actually want to keep them this time. <laughs> I can't believe it. I've probably gone through about 50 of these books in my lifetime, which is really weird. <laughs> really weird. But at, at different times, I've, I've found them and I've used them all up. <laughs> yeah, pockets would be good. Good idea, Aristi. Good observation. The images are so pretty. And I even like the shiny paper that they're on. It really made me think like, oh, I need to go buy shiny paper to print on because it's so cute. It gives the image such a nice little look. And I like it. These three, these because I like these better. <clears throat> Let's see. Should move the camera more down here so I can use this side. All right, <laughs> that's better. Much better. It prints darker. Ooh. A worm. Oh. How do you think I should treat my plant, Rhonda? Everybody says first thing is dump 70% alcohol in the plant and then water it. That's what everybody is saying. Gonna fill up this box of scraps really soon. <laughs> real soon, real soon. And I'm gonna put some of these pages, I'm gonna clean them up and I'm gonna put them in my journals, that's for sure. Be a nice different touch. Something different. Oh, visually try to remove the worm. Oh my God. That plant is such a maze and it's pot. Oh goodness. I haven't seen anything. Oh, gosh. I'm so grossed out right now. <laughs> Do you think it'll die in the heat? Jack Daniels, girl. Oh my God, Shadi. I'm trying to kick the worm out, not let it, not let it, not make its day. <laughs> That'll make the worm hang out more. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I have to hire security? Because I will. <laughs> That's just going to make it stay. It's going to be like, 
I like this party. <laughs> Sorry. You're funny. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's going to start. It's going to invite friends over. <laughs> yeah. Should I call the police? That is the, I will call the police. <laughs> There's a bug in my plants. I need, I need assistance. <laughs> Dang, I should have cut these up instead. Gosh darn it. What I get for not paying attention. That's what I get. <coughs> Party at the call. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Babe, Mike, can you close my door from the outside, please? Thank you. Yeah, it's hot now. I need to close that door. It's been open all morning. My my cat likes to look out the door, so we have like this, uh, what is it called? Net kind of mesh in front of it. He loves looking out that window, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's like his favorite thing to do, look out the door. Okay. So Thank you. Awesome. Felt good this morning, but now it's hot. Now it's hot. Okay, so we got that there. That looks nice. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. So far, we got all this. That's a nice jumbled set there. I have no idea how many images are there. But I am getting about two to three images every page. And um, yeah, we're getting through it. This is about uh, four or five book uh, worth of the pages. Only the one, only the pages that have the illustrations on them. There are other pages in the books that don't have illustrations. Um, they do have other kind of pictures, but these are, you know, the more botanical looking pictures that I love using. They look beautiful. Oh yes, happy Mother's Day. That's tomorrow, right? The happy Mother's Day to all the mamas. You are awesome because I couldn't do it. <laughs> Props to you guys. I can't. <laughs> I am not responsible enough, but Props to you guys for being responsible. <laughs> Let's get these pictures cut out here. Those are precious. And see, I still get these pieces right here, so I can collage or do some other page with them. I think it'll look nice. Yep, definitely going to use these ones. Hard to decide sometimes. Other times it's hard because I don't care about either one of them. <laughs> I'm like, I don't like either one, so it doesn't matter to me. Sometimes I do like one more than the other. So here we go. Oh, these are beautiful. These are so pretty. Shari knows the secret. <laughs> you, that sounds like uh, that's how I treat my plants, if that counts in my cat. <laughs> You're funny, Shari. <laughs> I'm going to have so many scraps. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Let's get this here. Let's get this here. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, Amy says, just popping in for a few house cleaning and laundry. Oh, uh, party over at Amy's house. <laughs> Do I like that one? Do I like this one? I guess I like the bigger one. Just have more workshop. What book are you cutting up? I am cutting up this one book called the uh, let me see. There's a bunch of books. It's a whole set of books. It's called ugh, The Encyclopedia of Gardening. And as you can see, it has a bunch of topics. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many books are in the original set, but out of all these pages, there's probably about 20 pages in each book that has these uh, images in the back. Sorry about that sound. I just put my book down. <laughs> it's happy hour. <laughs> You're funny, Rondo. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> happy hour at Rhonda's house. I keep going over there, but I'm cutting over here. <laughs> I have not drank in years. I don't drink myself. That's not my uh, cup of tea. It just makes my stomach all upset. <laughs> and I fall asleep early. It's just not fun. <laughs> See, that'll still be fun to use to collage with. Put that in the stash off to the side. Um, I guess we'll do the big pillows. Those are pretty. Look nicer. Yes, I have found them at thrift shops, at the library, on sale at the library. Mostly at thrift shops, though. Mostly at thrift shops. And the ones here in Vegas, I haven't seen these in less in california but i haven't gone out there too much but i need to go out there rhonda i need to go out there again oh 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 rhonda i want to go back to that thrift shop in ventura you know the one i told you i've been going to since i was a kid i want to go back to that thrift shop in ventura because they have a whole section of vintage books and i i didn't at the time think about it but i do want to make a collection of all vintage book covers so I need to go out there and I need to go hunt for some more book covers um, for the collection. I did find, I don't think I showed them off actually. Let me show you. Um, I found some vintage books. Uh, let me grab them. Don't know if this is all of them, but I grabbed, there was a sale over at the Salvation Army. There was, a, there was a sale at the Salvation Army, and they had all these vintage books for 25 cents, you guys. They had a 25-cent uh, book sale, and I didn't know that it also included vintage books because uh, the Salvation Army, they have, their, they have their thrift shop, and then they have a special section for, like, vintage items that, that are a little bit more pricier than the stuff that are in the store. So these are vintage books. I didn't know... I thought $6, I'm like, fine, I'll grab this. I think I originally grabbed this red one. I'm like, you know what, for $6, I'm like, that's actually a really cool book cover. I'm like, I'll take it, even for $6, fine. But I got it up to the, the book, uh, to the cashier, and she rang them up at 25 cents, so I went back. <laughs> I went back, and I grabbed the rest of the vintage books that were there. So I got this red book, The Shadow of Sheltering Price. I don't know. It just looked like a really cool book cover. So I got all these for 25 cents. I'm not really, I'm really more concerned about the cover. But yeah, I know, right? So this isn't, this one, I don't even know what year this is from. What year is this from? 1919. Cool. So this one is called The Red Lamp. Not so fancy, but still a nice cover, you know, nice, good in shape. Um, the type in this is really pretty. This is from 1925. The type is really nice. It has these really nice, um, titles. This is a really, really nice book. I really like it. So it's called The Red Lamp, but it's green. I don't know. What's the deal with that, you guys? Get it together. <laughs> this one is called Judy of Rogue's Harbor. Very, very pretty vintage book. 
The type in it is beautiful. It's from 1918. I don't know if I should even cut these up. I don't know, but I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> and then there's this one. Beautiful typography on the front. The Secret of the Storm Country. A sequel to Tess of the Storm Country, I guess. Beautiful cover. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Uh, like it says, 19. 1919. Somebody wrote their name on that. I don't know if that's the... I don't think that's the... Yeah, that's not the uh, writer. But 1919, you guys. These books are really, really old. Again, uh, and this is from 1916. These are 25. I got these for 25 cents, you guys. So I can't even imagine. I'm going to cut them up. I don't care, Aristi. I'm going to cut them up. <laughs> I can't just buy stuff just to keep it. <laughs> I'm going to cut them up. I don't, I'm not scared of cutting stuff up. I don't know. Maybe I'll Google it. If it's worth a million dollars, I might not. But it's going in my in my book collection. <laughs> I'm going to cut them up, so I don't care. <laughs> Unless they're worth a million dollars, they're getting the chop. <laughs> yeah, 25 cents. So I've, I've just been like, when's their next sale? When's their next sale? 25 cent books? I think I took all their books, though. If, but I went at the end of the day. If I had known... I would have gone around to all, all of the Salvation Armies in town. I'm not even kidding. I would have done that if I had known. If I had known that they were they had 25 cent book that day. And I went literally at the end of the day. They were about to close. And I went and I could not believe I was so mad at myself. Like I should have, you know, called or I don't know. Like I could have gotten so many books if there was books. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that was a good sale. So now I want to go buy more vintage books. So I can start working on that collection. I have so many collections I want to work on and only two hands. So I don't know and they'll get done, <laughs> but I want to start collecting, uh, more vintage book covers for that collection that I want to put out. Um, I don't know when that'll be. I don't know. Take it, take me with you. <laughs> You're funny. It would be great to go to Greece. Oh, my gosh. No respect. No, I don't have. I need. I, no, I can't just buy. If I just bought stuff just to keep it. Oh, my God. I can't do that to myself. My house is too small. My house is too small to just, you know, keep stuff. <laughs> but I don't even have a place for my clothes. This place is so small. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But it's not that it's small. It's just, it's not, it doesn't have any, it looks like this place was like gutted out and it has no like shelves or anything like that. <laughs> you can keep them. Oh my gosh. No, I need it. I need them. I need to cut them up. <laughs> the pages on the inside are so frail. I can't believe how old those books are. A hundred years. A hundred years. It's 2019. Some of those books from 1919. That's a hundred years. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I just realized it. <laughs> the book uh, is a whole series of books. Ah. They're called The Time, Life, Encyclopedia of Gardening. And they have a bunch of uh, topics. I don't know how many books are in the set. Hi, Eula. But it's called the, Encyclo the Time Life Encyclopedia of Gardening. I'll keep these more close by. <laughs> <clears throat> but they're from like the 70s, I think. They look very 70s. Maybe 80s, but they look very, very 70s. It's a good looking book, book set. And uh, I've been so lucky to have been able to have found these um, images here. And it has really good um, pages inside too. I'm going to cut them all up. All those two. Not right now, but <clears throat> right now I'm focused on this. Just this right here. See, it has other images like this, which is, which is cool. It's okay. 
Very 70s looking. I have these ones over here. This part off here. This pit, I'm very, I'm so, I can't even talk. I'm so excited to see what I want to make with these scraps. I have a lot of scraps. I know I already cut some up into strips to make, um, to make paper ruffles. As you guys can see, I have been, I spent the morning making paper ruffles on these pages. And then I was going to do this live and then I decided, you know what, I can do that tomorrow. <laughs> I want to do this right now. <laughs> But I'm going to make paper ruffles out of those. I already made a bunch of strips. Oh, I want to see, Rhonda. Where did you find it? eBay or something? Where? I want to know. <laughs> Where did you get it? Totally want to see. Oh, this is the pages where it's all a bunch of ferns ferns are cute ferns are pretty too hi annette welcome i am doing good thank you for asking i hope you're having a good saturday and hello jude happy mother's day Aren't they pretty? Just a bunch of ferns. It's a little, you know, it's a nice little break from the flowers. Everything can be a flower. <laughs> yes, it can. <laughs> yeah, the fern images are very pretty, nice and delicate. Very cute images. I could go for either side of the page. It does, they look the same. Christmas fern and leather fern. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> You say so. You got them on Etsy. That's and that's a good deal. If you got anything on Etsy for a good deal, it's a good deal. Vintage stuff on Etsy sometimes is pricey. Sometimes. I want to see what you got. That would be exciting to see. Fern images out of here. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get it. It looks so pretty. Thank you, Jude. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I can't wait to see. How much to see? You already got my uh, attention. That is a that's is that a that's not a fern. Is that a, that's not a fern? That's a fern. That doesn't look like a fern. That looks weird. Those are some weird. They look like ghost hands. <clears throat> ghost hand fern. Well, I'm happy for you, Rhonda. Vintage ephemera is so hard to find. Oh my goodness. And when you find it, even when you find it, finding it a good deal, that's another struggle. That's a whole different struggle right there. <laughs> all right, I'm excited to see. Get it all set up. Get it all set up. Yes, I want to see. That's exciting. Must have been like Christmas. Oh, 1800s, what? Oh my God. I am driving out to California tonight, girl. <laughs> I'm driving out there right now. I'm, I'm starting the car right now. <laughs> I'm a, I'm maybe there's some crumbs you don't want and I'll take them. <laughs> That's exciting, girl. That's so exciting. That's really vintage. Oh, so you so you really trying to be vintage, uh, Rhonda? 
You really trying to be vintage, huh? She's like, oh, 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 your 70s images? That's cute. I got 1870s. <laughs> Oh, oh, you wanted vintage, she said. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I cannot wait to see it. Try and scan some stuff. <laughs> if you can. This is the, what is this weird little fern? Adder's tongue fern. Oh, cinnamon fern. Okay. Never heard of a cinnamon fern, but now I know. Um, that's cute. These fern images. Wow, Rhonda. Wow, just wow. I can't even stop. Just wow. So lucky. I still have a bunch of vintage shops in town I haven't gone to and I want to go. I might try going tomorrow. Maybe I'll go tomorrow. I'm sure Richard will want to go with me. <laughs> he is so obsessed with thrift shops right now. He's selling mugs on eBay, like vintage old mugs. I don't know. He finds the weirdest mugs. So now he's all about mugs. <laughs> so he's always wanting to go to different thrift shops and see what mugs they have. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be so pretty. Oh my gosh, Rhonda. You're not allowed to say that. I'ma have to I'ma have to uh I'ma have to um censor you. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that girl, what? <laughs> what? No, I don't want my uh <laughs> I don't want my buffin buttered. <laughs> You guys are too much. You guys are too much. Oh my gosh. I have a big old box of these straps now. Oh my gosh. Straps are fabulous though. I can't get rid of the straps. I need the straps. <laughs> yeah, Aristi. <laughs> We're going to have to do something about little Rhonda Lee. She's gone rogue. <laughs> pretty, pretty fern. Strawberry fern. What? So this is called strawberry fern. You heard it here first, folks. Strawberry fern. <laughs> Barefoot fern. Okay, that's a lot of imagination there. A lot of imagination. <laughs> oh, Rhonda's prepared for the consequences. <laughs> Rhonda. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so much scrap of paper. Oh my gosh. Gotta hit that recycling bin in a minute. In a minute. That's fine. That is fine. That was only five books I went through. I still have all this to cut out. Five books. <laughs> I've got all these pictures out of it so far. I mean, that's a that's a nice that's a nice amount here. It's a nice mountain I got going on spilling over and stuff. Rhonda, you know, we're gonna give we're gonna put you on timeout. <laughs> if you if you don't stop being so hostile. <laughs> 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 Rhonda.
Rhonda's like, I'm just doing me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's get these cups out. How exciting. American tree fern. Coastal wood fern. They look the same, you guys. I got it. <laughs> I'm going to say something very controversial. Okay, so... Crested shield fern looks exactly like coastal wood fern. I said it. I said it. I said it. I don't care. I don't care what kind of controversy I face. I don't care. <laughs> All these ferns look the same, man. Oh my gosh, Rhonda. Go make your video, girl, because I got to have something to do when I'm done. <laughs> it better be edited and, and done by the time I'm done going live, Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs> Rhonda's over here being gangster on me. Wow. You spent too much time in California, Rhonda. You need to go, you need to go back to Canada and learn how to be nice. Get all that California out of you, Rhonda. <laughs> You've been spending too much time in, in the Nard. Rhonda. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> There's no Canadian left in you, Rhonda. Not anymore. What happened? <laughs> I thought you Canadians were nice, but now you're from LA. Now you're from California straight up now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're lucky I grew up in the same neighborhood as you, so well I grew up in the neighborhood you live in now, so you know you know what's was good, Rhonda was good. I got family, Rhonda was good. <laughs> you gotta ask Rhonda that. I don't know. Ask Rhonda. I don't know what that means. <laughs> That's something Rhonda says. <laughs> I have no explanation there. I cannot. I can't vouch for you, Rhonda. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I didn't say it. That's what Rhonda said. If you scroll up, she said it, not me. I told her she can't say that. Because <laughs> I don't know what it means, but I don't like it. It made me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, Rhonda. <laughs> you got to remember that next time, Rhonda. <laughs> Some people are going to want explanations. Ooh, lace fern. This one looks pretty. Lace fern. Okay, if you say so. Got all this fern. What kind of fern is this? Is that a fern? Mosquito fern. That looks weird. That looks like a succulent. Mosquito fern. That's interesting. Now that, that's interesting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it just means it just means she was she was uh, excited. She was very happy to see you. <laughs> That's the only way I can explain it without getting demonetized. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> and we got demonetized thanks to Rhonda. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, it could be. <laughs> You're gonna, they're going to start rumors about you, Rhonda. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
all these different ferns. Oh, I ripped this one. Gosh darn it. Could have had four pictures. Gosh. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Veranda, you're too much. Oh, my God. You're going to get me in trouble, Rhonda. <laughs> this is a family-friendly show. <laughs> this is a family show, Rhonda. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> okay, deep breath, Daisy. Deep breath. <laughs> it's going to be okay, deep breath. Goodness. Okay, let's get this cut a piece. This here. All right. So many images now that I have, and I can't even. Oh my gosh. Too much fun. Too much fun. Okay, Rhonda. I can't wait to see your new video. I'm excited to see what you got, and I can't wait to get back out there again and go shopping with you. Roger's a good shopping buddy. When you think you're done, you're not because she's not done. <laughs> so the shopping continues. It gives you a, a second and third chance to look around. <laughs> you want a shopping buddy that won't get tired? That's that's Rhonda for you. She's the perfect buddy. <laughs> She finds all the good stuff. Here. Get all these ferns. Ooh, that's a pretty fern right there. Wrote this one right here. Rosy maiden hair fern. That one is beautiful. I want that one. That's a pretty fern. Okay. All right, you guys. So thank you guys for coming to hang out with me for this nice hour here of chit -ch. <laughs> You're good, Rhonda. Don't worry. You're good. <laughs> I do need to take a little break because my hands are kind of hurting from, like, stretching out. I don't know what it is, but it is hurting my hands. So I need to take a break. Um, but I will be back tomorrow at the same time at 1 p.m., and I'm going to be working on some paper ruffles. So if you want to check out how I did this, I pretty much did the same technique as I did with the um, fabric ruffles. They look super cute. And I can't wait to, back, to get back to work on these. So that'll be tomorrow at 1 p.m. you want to come and hang out with me, otherwise I'll be back also Monday at 1 p.m. I go live Monday to Friday. At 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, that is the time I have been going live uh, lately, and that'll be my time for now. But again, I do want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys tomorrow. we will be doing some more fun stuff, and I'll be back to cut out. Actually, tomorrow I'm going to do lace <laughs> ruffles, paper ruffles. Monday we'll be back to decorate more, um, more of my junk journals. And I can't wait to see your new video, uh, Rhonda. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Uh, thank you, uh, Kate. She said she's going live right now, so go hang out with her if you want to hang out, uh, do some more crafty stuff. Thank you to little Rhonda Lee. Thank you to Jude. Thank you, Annette, for hanging out with me. Uh, thank you, Paula. I saw Paula. Mary, hi. Welcome. Thank you guys so much. I will be here tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Bye.